Okay, I broke my YouTube channel with a video. I put out a video. So my baseline for number of views for this YouTube channel. I'm Tannis Leonardi. This is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi. This is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. My channel, Tannis Leonardi. Today is Tuesday, 13 February, 2024. And a couple days ago, I put out this video on the uh, Zonle Pan 100 meter freestyle world record. And my baseline number of views for videos on this channel is four views. And the video has over 450 views, all right, with comments turned off, like it's a, it's a real accomplishment, you know, kind of thing, like long format, you know, the non non triggering headline, you know, not not I didn't, it's not like I cheated and put world record in the title or something like that, or in the thumbnail, um, which I want to consider that cheating, but you know, some people do that just it's clickbait, and I didn't clickbait, um, so that is over 110 times my baseline. So like if somebody got 10,000 views for their baseline viewership to do the same volatility of, as that as my video on their channel, they would need 1 million, over 1 million views on that video. So um, a lot of people can cover world records doesn't mean they can do so in a volatile sense, myself included. So that one has broken my channel. So I'm trying to cool down my broken channel. So I have decided to do another relay swim. This is my take on the Kyle Chalmers 100 meter freestyle relay split of 46.44 seconds from 26 July 2021. Yeah, see, it's faster than the world record, but because it's a relay split other than the leadoff leg, it doesn't count. See, bringing up that technicality with, with that, yeah, with that world record, making it relevant for this one. So. Uh, at the 2020 <laughs> Summer Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan, Kyle Chalmers, the handsomest wallaby in history, uh, human wallaby in history, king of the Kokas, <laughs> swam a time of 46.44 seconds in the final of the 4x100 meter freestyle relay. He was the fourth swimmer in order. This was on Tuesday, 26 July 2022. With his time, he achieved a fifth fastest relay split relay split time for this stroke and distance. So like the 100 meter freestyle distance relay split type thing. Uh, I provide my take slash perspective on his performance and contextualize it in terms of my staying tuned in to the sport of swimming. I'm gonna start off. Kyle Chalmers, if you're watching this, that must have really sucked. Okay, so like the 46.44, I think if I'm recalling correctly, was his like fastest relay split but he had a different relay split that was faster that was like third in textile swimwear and then he swam this one which was faster and it ranked fifth whoa right i mean you can take a take a few years drop a few tenths and get worse in the global rankings and so i i have i, I like swim just works like that sometimes and i've brought that up before in the, for this too or not this this is sorry i'm also covering the 2024 world aquatics championships and i brought that up as like sometimes you improve in your artistic swimming points or your diving points or your swimming times but yeah get worse in the rankings and this is an example of that where i'm just like he was fast he's beautiful beautiful man beautiful stroke absolutely gorgeous and um was in this performance i actually saw him i watched the live broadcast of this one i watched him swim yes um or a live broadcast of this so yeah this is when i actually spectated and he stole the show my eyes were glued to his quokka quokka king status um and uh yeah Contextualize it in terms of staying tuned in to, to swimming, follow, and um, tuned into following the sport of swimming. It's stuff like weird stuff like this and oddities like this that, like, you know, when I'm like, I'm bored and I really hate the sport, or there's somebody out there pointing out people's mistakes or making them feel embarrassed by being like, ooh, they almost made a boo boo, or like, they may like looked scared or confused and they highlight it in a video and like an attack video to make them feel insecure or uncomfortable um right when stuff like that really bogs me down or has bogged me down in the past oddities like this are like a well that must have sucked right <laughs> like the t the actual so that person doing the attacks is being unprofessional let's look at the professional oddities that can keep a person going in their career maybe they just wanted that third third fastest relay spot again i guess they're gonna have to keep getting faster 
So uh, it's oddities that can overcome, can be framed in a positive way and help overcome the negativity of coverage. There we go. Um, from my experience. If you want a little tidbit from me, Tannis Leonidas. So that's my take on the Kyle Chalmers 100 meter freestyle relay split time of 46.44 seconds from 26 July, 2021.